Hello. My name is Leslie Shiskal Courier. I'm the managing director and co-founder of Marin Shakespeare Company in San Rafael, California. And we're celebrating our 31st season this year. We do programs on stage when we're not sheltering in place and education programs that serve over 5,000 students every year. And we're the largest provider of Shakespeare in prison programs in the world. I'm going to be reading Sonnet 138. When my love swears that she is made of truth, I do believe her, though I know she lies, that she might think me some untutored youth, unlearned in the world's false subtleties. Thus, vainly thinking that she thinks me young, although she knows my days are past the best, Simply, I credit her false speaking tongue. On both sides, thus, is simple truth suppressed. But wherefore says she not she is unjust? And wherefore say not I that I am old? Oh, love's best habit is in seeming trust. An age in love loves not to have years told. Therefore, I lie with her and she with me, and in our faults, by lies, we flattered be. This is a brilliant Shakespearean sonnet about truth and lies. My lover lies to me and I pretend to believe her. She flatters me and so we go on in this seeming trust, lying together in both senses of the word. This is Shakespeare in a cynical mode. He's reminding us of the world's false subtleties how we suppress simple truth to get what we want and we flatter ourselves. I like this sonnet because I think it's very reminiscent of what's going on in the world now. We live in a world that has a serious issue with truth and fake news and lies. Today, as we are here at the beginning of what is going to be a long period of pandemic, which will likely go on for several years. We need truth more than ever. We're just getting started adjusting to our new reality and trying to understand what the world of theater can and will look like during and after this historic time. I believe that this pause will create a world in which people are even more hungry for theater. And we as theater artists can use this time to think deeply about what we want to make theater about in a post-pandemic world. This sonnet reminds me how easily we suppress the truth, how easy it is to lie to ourselves and others, how easy it is to accept convenient truths that flatter us and allow us to avoid harsh realities, how easy it is to fall into complacency and to do nothing. As I get older, and I am older now than Shakespeare was when he died, I try to get real with myself. Despite all the daily distractions and necessities and the crazy logistics of trying to keep a nonprofit Shakespeare theater alive during these bizarre times, I try to focus on what is the very best use of my time. And for me, that is bringing the healing power of Shakespeare into prisons, providing work for formerly incarcerated actors and raising awareness about the national shame of mass incarceration. I am dedicating this sonnet to artists everywhere, incarcerated actors, and all incarcerated people who suffer under the injustice of our justice system. So I'd like to use the little time that I have left to remind us all not to get complacent about mass incarceration. The US has 5% of the world's population and 25% of the world's prisoners. Now more than ever, the overly incarcerated in the US are at tremendous risk. Please do what you can to advocate for compassionate prison reform and practices that will keep prisoners and prison staff safe during this pandemic. And if you'd like to find out more about the work that we do at Marin Shakespeare, you can visit our website at marinshakespeare.org. That's M-A-R-I-N shakespeare.org. Follow us on Facebook 
and check out our YouTube page where you can enjoy a wealth of videos, including more than 50 performances of Shakespeare and other theater by incarcerated actors in California state prisons.